Hi, Hayden. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Um, we'll start off with the with the managerial change. Obviously, replacing a manager is difficult at the best of times. Um, but with two games to go, can you understand why some people are a bit perplexed at the timing of this? The thing is, um, when you work in football, one thing you kind of uh, you have to take on board is that a lot of things happen. Um, and one of the things that you know we, we've had to deal with in the last couple of days is, is the manager leaving. Um, however, that's come about is is something that we can't uh, let. Uh, what I'm looking for uh, dissuade us from our focus. Our focus are the last two games. Um, we know that um, the manager was a big part of it, but um, the club have made a decision, and, and us players, staff have got to be professional enough to now focus on the next two games. How have the players dealt with the news? The players have trained really well the last two, uh, two days. Uh, they, were, they were informed, as I was yesterday. Um, we had a meeting with the owner and, and the chairman, and, uh, and, and they were informed, as I was. Um, we went out, we trained yesterday. Um, we had a really good session. Uh, they came in today, uh, very focused. And, and again, we had, a, we had a, another really good session again to the, uh, today, preparing for tomorrow. What have you seen in the players that makes you think they they can do this, that they can stay safe? <laughs> They're a good team. You know? We're a good we're a good unit. We're 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 a good squad. Um, the team have shown since you know since December, definitely since when when I've been involved with the first team that they've um, they can get results in the league. Um, you know, we we'll be confident in what we. We want to try and do. We'll be confident in our team and our unit, and 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 we're going to try and and, and be as positive as we can tomorrow. Is it one of those times where you really need sort of leaders to to step up and be counted? Yeah, we, we you know we we've got a lot of leaders in the group, and we need every single one of them. It's not just you know one or two. It's it's uh, it's an eleven or uh, as it is now a nineteen twenty man squad. That's, that's, that's what we need. We need everyone pulling in the same direction. Um, we need 11 leaders out on the pitch and we all need to have one common goal and that's um, to get positive results. And then just one last one from me. Having already beaten you know, the champions uh, this season, is, is that going to be the blueprint for these next two games, I suppose? Yeah, it's, it's definitely something to look at. I mean, we were, we were excellent that day. We, we were fantastic. Um, a lot of energy, a lot of discipline. Did our jobs really, really well that day, um, and it's something that we're definitely looking looking at, um, and we, and we can take you know a lot of positives from that. You know, we know we're a team that, like you say, on that day we did really, really well, and we know we're a team that can can hurt other teams. Um, we just need to focus on what we want to try and do, um, how we're going to do it, and 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 go out and try and execute it. Hi, Hayden. Uh, congratulations on the opportunity. Um, history tells us that. Being manager of Watford's not the most secure job in football. Do you see this as a two-match appointment or an audition to make the job yours long term? No, I think I said before in December when when I um, had the caretaker role is that you know I work for the club and and at the moment I recognise where we are and what the situation is um, and what we need and how we need to focus. I think that's that's my focus at the moment. My focus is on you know. It, Definitely on the game on Tuesday. It was the focus definitely today was preparing the team. Um, anything more long term, I haven't I haven't thought of. But you obviously have ambitions to be a manager in your own right as your career progresses. How would you describe your approach to uh, being charged with a group of players? My approach, yeah, I'm trying to organise us as much as we can. Um, I, you know, I want us to be competitive. I want us to try and you know all know our jobs on the pitch and and hopefully. Um, the players can go out and carry that out on the pitch. I mean, I think it's a very, very good team we're playing tomorrow. You know, we can't get away from that. They're a fantastic side, fantastic manager. Um, and we just have to be as disciplined and, and, and as uh, compact as we can. It's, it's a hell of a, a baptism for you. Are you excited or nervous? Or how are you feeling? Um, I'm, I don't feel nervous. Um, looking forward to it. It's, you know, listen, it's, it's, it's a great challenge. But it's, it's one where, you know, we're... We're in football. It, it it becomes kind of not the norm, but it becomes part of you know. Listen, we have to put other things aside, and we have to concentrate on what we're going to do tomorrow. It, you kind of don't think about what the challenge is yet. Um, I think that will come after when I kind of 
sit down in the holiday and, and, and kind of really do think about it. But at the moment, like I say, we, we're just focused on what we're trying to do tomorrow. How are we going to set the team up? How are we going to go about it? The messages we want to get to the players and, and that's in our main focus. Hayden, can you understand why the club made the decision to remove Nigel from his post with just two games left of the season? I wasn't part of that decision. I, you know, I found out when the players found out. I think the club, um, the club make their decisions, um, and the, the club the club has their reasons for the decision. That's a, you know a question you'll have to ask the club. I mean, for me, like I said before, I work for the football club. Um, you know, I've been asked to step in and 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 be caretaking these next two games, and um, you know, that's what I try and do. Do you find it unsettling as a young coach when you see? managers come in and out of this football club like i said before for me it's as it was in december it was you know listen we we want you to take um, care of the, these next two games and that was my main focus i mean for me where i am in in my coaching career i've, I've been with this group now since december um we feel like you know they we know how they work in terms of any other decisions, I think you'll have to speak to the club about that. Me, personally, I've, I've just got a job to do and, and I'm going to have to try and carry out that as well as I can. I mean, my main focus is focusing these boys for the next two games. I mean, that, that's, that, that's how it's got to be. What impact did Nigel have on this football club and what did you take from him? Because you were part of his backroom staff as well. Yeah, fantastic. Um, really enjoyed my time working with him and both him and Craig Shakespeare, um, you know, learned a lot under the time they were here. Really enjoyed the time we spent together, and, and um, yeah, it was it was it was a good experience for myself. And can you understand why a squad with so much quality in it finds itself in the position that it's in at the moment? I mean, it, it's it's not just happened to us. I mean, over the years in the Premier League, it's happened to a lot of good squads. It's just sometimes is you know the league is really good. Um, sometimes you hit form at the right time. Sometimes you don't. I mean, you, you do find yourself in these situations. You know, at times it, it's just how it is. I mean, the main focus for us, like I said before, is just it's just these next two games. You know, we know how big they are. We know what we need to try and do in the next two games. And 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 like I say, we're going to try and set up to to be as effective as, as we can be in the next two games. Have you got any team news, any injuries at all? No injuries, no. no. The, the squad will be the same as it would um, against the West Ham. And just finally from me, what are you hoping to see from your side tomorrow that perhaps wasn't there against West Ham on Friday night? Well, I think it's a, a case of, you know, it not being there against West Ham. I think... Um, for us tomorrow, like I said before, we, we, we want to set up with the, the focus and the discipline of our jobs that we've been, we're asking them to do. I mean, it's, it's a different game to the West Ham game. Um, fantastic team we're playing in Man City, fantastic team in Arsenal. And, and we're just going to ask them to do the jobs that we're asking them to do and, and stay disciplined, focused, work hard and, and hopefully get results. Thanks, Aiden. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, Aiden. How are you doing? Hi, are you right? Um, I just wanted to ask you about those two previous games you had. Um, how much did you learn yourself, you know, having those two matches against Leicester and, and Crystal Palace and obviously hoping that will help you with these two games as well? Yeah, I learned so much. Learned, you know, learned a lot. I mean, I was working with the 23s, which was fantastic um, the previous three or four years. Um, and then, you know, you develop so, so much and you... Not so much, sorry. You can only develop so much, but then you need to kind of take a step into first team football. Um, I was lucky enough to, to be given two games in charge in December, uh, where the club uh, club's confidence in me was was to look after the two games until they found a manager. Like you say, the, you you can only gain the experiences from doing it firsthand. And like I say, what we what we did in December and how we did it was fantastic. Um, there was a lot to do in so little time um, and I felt we did it really well. I think the team responded really well and um, yeah, really enjoyed it. And just on Man City, I'm, I'm sure no one at the club needs me to remind them of the previous two results. Would that kind of be in your thinking when it comes to team selection? Will you look at you know, how some of these players have done against um, Man City players before or is it a case that they're such a good side that you know, that can happen, those, those two results you previously had? I think for us, it's you know I wasn't involved in the uh, in the staff at, at that point, so um, 
obviously I worked at the club, but being internal and what the setup was in that game, I don't know. Um, for us, like I said, no, our focus will be on what we think we can do tomorrow in terms of us to try and get a positive result. Us team selection will be all around that. It won't be anything to do with what happened in previous games. It will be all around what we think is the best team to go out on the pitch and, and get us a result tomorrow. Hey, click here for more video. Hey, click. Come on. Click. Come on, bro. Done? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, guys.